ever since high school, I've been called Grizz. Um, so it's sort of like my uh, animal, my spirit animal, I guess, if, if you have one. But uh, just my last name's so long, Christian, right? So uh, in high school, it's easier just to be called Grizz. Top of the helmet is all completely broken. Um, the idea is because I've had a lot of crashes to kind of make light of that. So it's kind of like smashed glass on the top and then on the front and all around it is the Wonder Woman crown. And we were kind of like talking about it, me and a couple of my teammates. I was like, I have this idea for a helmet. What do you think about the Wonder Woman? And they're like, yeah, that's like really cool. And my one teammate's like, yeah, because it's like your inner superhero is coming out. There's Both my helmets really have no meaning other than the smash to bits piece, just because I've crashed so much. But it's ma mainly to have fun and remind myself that I'm tobogganing for a living. Well, I knew I wanted a bear um, maple leaves, uh, being Canadian. A lot of red maple leaves, so I sort of went with a white one. Also, it's a bit like Toronto Maple Leafs, I'm from Toronto, so it's uh, a little bit of different Canadiana there. Uh, True North Strong and Free, it's a good slogan on our back. This is my new helmet for Pyeongchang. Um, I wanted something blunt, um, and that when, if you looked at it, you knew exactly what it was. I also wanted to pay tribute to the Vancouver 2010 games that truly inspired me to come out here and become a skeleton athlete for Canada. The Vancouver 2010 motto was, with glowing hearts. and. So this is my spin-off of it, um, a rib cage with a glowing heart, which happens to be a maple leaf. So I've got Canada running through my veins, but also on the front, um, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of done in silver. I've got wings with a number seven in there um, for my past boyfriend, who was a quarterback on the Simon Fraser team. Um, he passed away and his number was seven, and he was the one that taught me to dream big. So. Without him, I would not be here today. <laughs>